Thousands of people flocked to Nashville, Tennessee earlier this month, and not for the country music and biscuits. No, they were headed to the second annual CrimeCon, a convention whose mere existence confirms America's fascination with crime. I think it's starting with the OJ trial and progressing through Michael Jackson, Casey Anthony, Jody Arias. I think there's a group of people in the United States that see the criminal justice system as almost a spectator sport. Josh Mankiewicz is a correspondent with NBC's Dateline, a show devoted almost entirely to covering American murders. It was the mystery that gripped Green Bay. A vivacious young mother of three found murdered in a field. We may be repulsed by crime, but we can't stop tuning it in. Why is that? That's what needs to be solved. People consume it because they need to understand it. Because they're Criminal behavior analyst Laura Richards co-hosts the podcast Real Crime Profile with former FBI man Jim Clementi. You are crime guy! I do believe that people, you know, look at this country from the outside as a fairly violent country. Um, because we have so such ready access to weapons. Ironically, CrimeCon was held on the same weekend as the NRA hosted their convention in Dallas. So the consumption, you know, happens at the same way the crime rate just keeps rising. Professor Deborah Burris Kitchen sees an unprecedented interest in crime among students at Tennessee State University. Even me as the chair of a criminal justice department, our department's booming. And that old maxim that crime doesn't pay? Think again. People who run the prison systems, people who work in the court systems, uh, people who sell the stuff, you know, the alarm systems and pepper spray, um, corporations that make you know, the stuff for the prison systems all make a, a living off of that, off of crime. John Kim is co-creator of TV's gritty and popular First 48. We have one victim here at the scene that's deceased. Crime does pay. Let's see. Does crime pay? Absolutely. It pays in many different ways. But it also, there are people who actually pay um, in blood. No one is more sensitive to that than Kevin Balf, who started CrimeCon. Uh, we're mindful that these stories are generally involve someone's worst day of their life, um, but it's 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 human stories. Those stories had a rapt audience here at the famous Opryland Hotel. It's like we are a weird little family, you know, where we're all interested in the same thing, and I think it's because we all desire justice for the victims. A once married former police officer now under arrest for a violent crime spree that terrorized California for more than 40 years. Golden State killer, right? It's in the news right now. Last year, those families were here pleading the most prolific serial killer in California history hasn't been caught and no one's talking about our case. A year later, this guy's in prison and they're on the stage. What happens when you have an educated public is it forces law enforcement to step it up a notch. One way to end up in a real interrogation room is if cops think you have a motive. Here in Nashville, I wondered what the motive was for people to get off their couches and come to a convention about true crime. To me, it's almost like the Coachella of nerdy crime con buffs or people who love true crimes. And wow, do they love it. And most of the people who showed up were women, by a lot. Men are uh, more likely to commit murder, right? But women are more interested <laughs> in um, who commits murder and interested in the crime itself. Gemma Hoskins, a citizen investigator, co-hosts Netflix's wildly popular documentary series, The Keepers. She was murdered our senior year, and it's always haunted many people in the community. Our mission, we were driven to find out who hurt Sister Kathy. I haven't figured out the key yet about why women are so interested in crime, because frankly, it's usually men that are committing the crimes. Women are more drawn to crime and crime novels and crime shows um, is because they're more likely to that that would happen to them. I, I scope out all my dates. I look everybody up on the judicial case search in Maryland before I go out, so I really do. Josh Mankiewicz thinks that true crime simply scratches an itch that we all have. We live in a world in which nothing works the way it's supposed to. Certainly Washington hasn't worked the way it was supposed to for a long time. There's too many kids in your son's class. There's too many cars ahead of you on the highway. But for one hour a week, Friday nights at 9 or 10 o'clock, the world works the way it's supposed to. That cheating, lying, conniving spouse gets what's coming to him. And time served at CrimeCon confirms just that. Michael Shore, I-24 News, Nashville, Tennessee.